Logan, the Wolverine, everybody knows who this popular guy is. This guy has a very special place in my childhood and is one of the very first mutants I love. And to this day, probably is one of my favorite mutants of all time. Heck, he might even be my favorite mutant of all time, now that I think about it. I like his tough and rugged manly attitude and the ability to not take no junk. Even if he's outclassed, he doesn't care. He's tough like that. He's a mutant with unstoppable healing power. That's what he's known for. He had bone claws at first, but then he has adamantium coated metal claws great senses and one of the most ferocious heroes in marvel in my opinion he's one of the most dangerous super soldier tiers but even some debate is he even a super soldier tier he has a really controversial tier conversations because he's one of those characters where it doesn't matter what tier you're in he can technically hurt you thanks to his super ridiculous claws that allows him to basically ignore durability even if he doesn't have the physical strength to realistically harm them he can harm them via lore and right intent thanks to these claws and you're going to see why that. Thanks a lot, guys, that have donated to the channel, though. Appreciate it a lot. One stat about him I didn't know was that he's only 5'3", but he's 5'3", 195 pounds without adamantium skeleton, so you know he's got to be pretty freaking buff. I'm six foot plus, and I'm only 200 pounds. Imagine being 5'3", 195. You've got to be huge muscle-wise, but then he's even 300 pounds with the adamantium skeleton, so that lets you know. Usually any conversation when you bring up the X-Men, Wolverine is one of those people you bring up in the conversation. He was born to a wealthy family in Alberto, Canada in the late 19th century and lived a long and violent life prior to joining the X-Men, etc. And as a child, his family destroyed one night, ending up having to flee his home. His original name was James Howlett, but he is now known as Logan after he left during that crazy massacre. A lot of people think he's just a hack and slasher because they see movies he just slashed away with his claws. I mean, realistically so, he doesn't necessarily need fighting skills when you have claws this powerful, but he actually has fighting paralysis thanks to his pure life experiences. I mean, think about it. Throughout the years and decades, he even stated, fought in pretty much every war that's been, shed blood on every continent, killed more folks than I could count in a day, made love to every kind of woman you could think of on this world and plenty of others, literally been a soldier, a samurai, an assassin, and an avenger. I've seen the future save the world, invented beer. He stated, in other words, I've done it all. Been a CIA operative. Another image of him at war. Shield with all different cultures. Like, look at this outfit. He still uses his skills, by the way. Like, he's like the fact he's been a secret agent. Literally states Agent Logan. It would be weird for him not to have fighting skills with all these life experiences. When you think about it. Stated yet in here, over here in Japan. Secret agent. He's ex-army. I like how he's having a conversation with Cap talking about, you think you was in World War II and you gonna convince me you ain't ever killed nobody? <laughs> yeah, Wolverine's too smart for that. Hypersense. He's been betrayed too many times for him to trust anybody. Makes sense. All this life experience would make you paranoid too with the true nature of humans. Thanks to people using him as weapons, you know, outside sources using him as a weapon. That's why he got trust issues, you know, stuff like that. Twisting him to a tool of destruction, basically. Good thing is that after joining the X-Men, his adventures with the team led him across Earth, space, time, parallel dimensions. This experience kind of made him the perfect candidate to be a leading member of the mutant race. He even joined the different Avengers teams over the years, became the headmaster at Resurrected Winchester School for Mutants. Maybe we can see him be an Avenger in any more of the movies or something. Who knows? <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Here's lore on what all he can do. As you can see, his fighting skills is all the way up. And he even stays here due to his extensive training as a soldier, a CIA operative, etc. All the stuff I just said. He knows how to use swords, daggers, weapons. He's just a one-man army, skills like. I'm pretty sure you believe me when I said healing factor. Bone claws that are dense at first. The adamantium is what kind of makes him jump tears to where he can harm people like Hulk. People that would otherwise be too much for him. Let me go ahead and tackle the elephant in the rooms. Wolverine has a couple outlier feats that don't really make much sense based on his consistency. Like his bone claws for example. Now adamantium claws being able to hurt top tiers makes sense. But when there's feats like this when he has bone claws being able to cut up Hulk. It doesn't really make much sense because he has a too many anti moments kind of contradict this yeah it just doesn't make much sense like the time he used bone claws here but it didn't really seem to do anything against hulk you know what characters like namor was able to crush these same bone claws with ease seemingly if they're strong enough to cut up hulk tears how come they can just be broken so easily by namor tears you know it doesn't make sense he even tried to cut rogue but it still didn't work so yeah the bone claws ain't cutting top tiers consistently he even states here his claws mess up her costume but her skin's tough as armor plates that doesn't make sense right even symbiote tears like carnage can bite through bone claws you know breaks his claws on this rocky alien when his arm was fastened with a large chain like one arm right if his claws were just that durable why he don't just use the right 
arm bone claw and just slice out like showing very clear limits if the writers actually wanted to pay attention bone claws break trying to break galactus's machine it's too many occasions of this but enough of this stuff you get the idea right but bone claws aside i don't want to seem like i'm trying to take a crap on them he's still a beast though regardless right they're still stronger than normal things like the fact they can cut through a sword bone claw still strong enough to cut through steel though like cutting through this metal gun he can indeed cut through chains with his bone claws of course this psycho man robot is occasion with the thing dives slicing it like that he uses claws to climb rocks like being able to stab into it like that so they're still pretty freaking strong he's the slowest fall he stabs through carnage's shoulder bone claws can dig through collapsed buildings with it slice through a garage door with it thick trees with it huge organic phalanx techno organic monster or monsters with the bone claws so he already has super soldier is type strength right but these claws can kind of make him more lethal not even talking about the adamantium yet yes he speak many different languages by the way just wanted to get that out there speaking russian he is high intelligence now back to the other stuff he learned spy crafts from black widow's father but enough of that bone claw stuff how strong is he physically well that's not his shining attribute but he is implied to have some decent super strength of course he's a super soldier tier at least right physically right that's evident here where he threw like a dumpster at an attack. Like, you know how heavy them things can be? I mean, he freaking caught and held an elevator with two people in it, might I add. There was this truck. He was able to stop this truck on the spot while it was riding. Strength. Literally slung this shark onto a boat with his strength. Heavy restraints like this. He doesn't have much leverage. He literally just shatters through with raw power, as you can see. Snaps these chains, made from the hardest steel money can buy. Crazy. Swings Dragon Man into a wall. Look at the strength. This Dragon Man guy weighs literally three tons. He also does the same by slinging Colossus into Juggernaut, showing that he's not weak either. And Colossus is at least 500 pounds, even though I personally think he should weigh more than that, but whatever. Literally picks up this many men, throws them through a wall, snaps these overlapped chains with raw strength, pulls open elevator doors with that strength, and a battle feat with Omega Red, of course, battle feat with him, throws them into prison bars enough to dent them. By the way, Omega Red weighs 425 pounds. When ordinary men try to restrain him, he simply launches them in the air. Ninjas got chains on him, he swings them in the air. Throws these robots to the wall so they explode. Throws this lion. He does this freaking piano. Like, he literally hauls it with his body for eight days. Just look at this big crap. Raw strength. Just raw strength. He threw a motorcycle hard enough to break someone's bag. To throw it like that. Oh, a montage of him just breaking objects like chains all through the years some of these times him breaking this stuff during battle feats shattering wood floors seats metal wires breaking through chains yet again look at the collateral of his fight look at that squeezing strength he states here but some people bend iron bars like they bend rules wolverine says and wolverine's bent everyone he's ever come across look how he can bend bars how many times does he need to snap chains for you to get it Punching through windshields, rips open stuff, breaking stuff. Of course, in Battle Feats fighting Deadpool, keeping up with characters like Deadpool, opening up these danger room doors, of course, in this case with Colossus, breaking through this door, breaking through this containment, kicking through, kicking doors down, flipping, striking power wise. We've even while underwater, he cracks this dude's head against the wall he's fought different type of metahumans over the years in battle feet so i'm just going to let you see these different occasions for yourself like bigger creatures than himself part of this is mainly because of his claws being able to ignore durability being able to fight beings that are way physically stronger than him heck he even threw vision at one time fighting saber tooth well he's more closer to his strength range but you get it you know see what i mean battle feats galore like big old meta creatures consistently putting in that work against them despite them being larger or more ferocious at times. So he has pl had plenty of time to fight all your major favorite characters, like even Venom, a symbiote spider tier, thanks to his claws, being able to even the odds. Even had the nerve to flip him. Gotten in tussles with Ghost Rider, tussles with Spider-Man himself, showing he can keep up with his fighting speed. Well, Scarlet Spider, you know, same thing. Silver Samurai, different metas, still slinging them. Fighting with the X-Men, fighting different creatures over the years as well. You should already know. Plenty of fights with Sabretooth. Even got in tussle with Black Panther. Respect. Another different fight. Deadpool battle feat like I showed briefly before. Even a tussle during the X-Force with Beast. Just plenty of occasions. 
beats to somebody else that's physically stronger than him. But, you know, Wolverine can even win with thanks to agility, speed, and claws. Just like on a lot of different occasions, he can win, even if somebody's stronger. It's almost strength is a non-factor, or worst opponents to fight or would be telekinetic beings, I would say. Beings that can keep him far away. Like, he's even fought characters like Warpath. Thanks to his metal head hitting against beings that are really durable, still can hurt them. Adamantium is just something that's just like a cheat code when you think about it. Yeet Jubilee. But every major person you got respect for, I guarantee Wolverine has probably fought him. Yes, he even met Crossbones before. Put him to sleep with a, just a raw punch as well. Even did this to Human Torch. Even deflaming him with a punch. Wolf's Bane. I'm telling you, metas that are way physically bigger than him and should be way stronger. He fights, thanks to his healing factor. He can come back and even punch back. Claws enable things like this as well. Sentinels, Night Night. Punches people hard enough to send him through the walls. He even picked up this table, slammed it on Hercules, Thor tier, Planet Buster type character. Of course, I don't want to overhype Wolverine. These same beings that he's tussling with thanks to his claws and etc. Agility has also beaten him. Like, for example, the thing has KO Wolverine before. But, like, he can hang with him because of this. Different factor, oh, different battle feet here. He uses this large pillar as a club. Like you see this big crap he's picking up and swings it, breaking it on the being, the mutant monster being. I mean, he kicked this large rock hard enough to shatter it. Or heck, he can even do the rock this situation and KO two folk. Shatter sword with a single chop. Uses the body of a ninja to knock a door off its hinges. Cuts off the sentinel's head, even sends it flying into a wall. Plenty of battle feats with sentinels. I'm not saying these power grids are Bible, but this guy known as Rogue House weight is 774 pounds, right? He has great superhuman strength. Look at what they rated his strength, a freaking six. But he's fought this same being over the years on plenty of different occasions over the years, even making him sleepy. Yet another battle, thanks to his claws, he can even the odds in this occasion getting slung around though. You see, it's just weird that somebody with this level of strength ranking can't seem to put Wolverine down for good in these battle feats. But heck, I told you about them claws. They should be something to respect. Profile said he weighs 700 pounds and he's Wolverine's punching somebody hard enough that weighs 700 pounds to send him flying. Let that sink in for a second. More proof of this guy Rogue House pretty strong. Look what he's lifting up above his head. But Wolverine's still fighting him in this occasion. Too much evidence of this throughout the years. Yeah, Wolverine, he's a threat. Another idea of his strength, the fact he can catch Sabretooth's punch, consistently matching Sabretooth in Slugfest over the years, even smashing him down by doing this to Sabretooth. Sabretooth is able to break a force field that could hold an elephant, like a literal elephant. There was this demon-possessed bear that was swatting away other bears like it was nothing. Wolverine said, let's fight, let me send you flying like that with an attack punch. Of course, he's got in fights with Lady Deathstrike. Lady Deathstrike is a beast. And has super strength as well, shown in different fights they've had going through stuff while they fight, like causing a whole bunch of ruckus in the vicinity. See here, battle feet. And by the way, this was Bone Claws, might I add. Fart Spider Man and sent him flying with a backhand this one time, being able to react to him. Seemed like there's not a massive speed advantage when it comes to fighting speed. Momo, he was able to kick a cyborg's head off. He broke a dinosaur's neck. Look at the size difference. And don't you dare put him against normal humans. There's been too many occasions of him throwing around normal humans, breaking their bones like their fodder or droids, almost punching through dang near their face without even using the claws. There's just a massive gap between him and a regular human in the aspect of strength. That much should be obvious. Punching through that, too many occasions. That kick sent him flying, tossed in the air like that. Y'all are fleas. In comparison, like breaks through that, even took a hit from Colossus, you know, throughout the years. And Nightcrawler gets tagged, slicing that gun, toss, slam, through, slice, each those attacks, chop. But if you can get around those claws, he's like, yeah, he struggles with like Captain America physically and stuff like that throughout the years. It's not like an overwhelming gap between the two when it comes to the aspect of strength. Like, if the person with super strength avoids those claws and decides to use their super strength over him, they can really easily overpower Wolverine, like pinning Wolverine thanks to Sentry. In this occasion like this, and Spider-Woman, you know, spider family members have, like, the strength advantage, I would say, you know? You just gotta be real careful when involving him in versus battles and stuff, because these super beings can counter him if they use their strength the right way against Wolverine. But at the same time, they can't get hit by them claws. 
because them claws are going to pierce right on through you know when it comes to raw speed when it comes to spider-man tears and stuff like that i would say the gap in speed between spider-man tears and wolverine is not as large as their strength advantage over wolverine for example like i would say spider-man has a large gap over wolverine when it comes to physical strength now when it comes to overall fighting speed and reflexes and stuff one could say spider-man has the speed advantage still but it's not as drastic right to where even respect his speed other spider people even mention they say wolverine probably can't be killed but it doesn't matter he still can dodge he doesn't just eat every attack by the way because of his healing factor he says he hasn't been touched yet for a short guy weighing about a thousand pounds <laughs> they want to say he was a thousand pounds now and then he moves like a ninja or something they even stayed here i honestly couldn't tell you it all happened so fast stayed here he killed a whole bunch of people before i could even try to stop him stated in this occasion dang he's as fast as his dad stated to be able to move as a blur even blade respects his speed watch my blade video to see why this is important they state no one moves that fast. He's as fast as ever, maybe faster. He almost has instinctual fighting paralysis. It makes it hard for telepaths to read his movement. They say thinks and acts at the same time. They are one. It's being stated when my mental powers enable me to read your every thought to counter your plans the moment you conceive them. Here comes Wolverine. It says, but the last instant too sudden for her to react, slicing her deadly stinger. So basically Wolverine has ultra instinct and telepaths have a hard time reading what he's about to do because his thoughts and fighting are one. Yet another occasion, read your mind and anticipate your next move. But when she fights Wolverine, he literally didn't think. So he, he tagged her and she was like, what you didn't think when Psylocke was narrating she even stated almost faster than my mind can follow and she's a psionic telepathic being by the way even states here it's all just instinct that one time it was cool enough he maneuvered with Spider-Man as they hopped across the place Bishop has his finger on the button like you literally see the finger on the button before he can press the button Wolverine sliced it that fast soldiers aim at him here too much speed he rushes past them before they even notice that he slices their guns up like he literally blitzed at him he says he moved so fast i couldn't track him he's behind us fought this highly trained ninja destroys her before she can even register what happened raw freaking speed just his raw perception alone would make him hard to fight in real life because nobody has this type of reaction or fighting speed to even keep up with him let alone even talk about his skills look at the distance this man is aiming at wolverine he shot wolverine nipped him Look at the distance. He closed the distance before he can shoot again. You see the slashing speed? It's like he can move like a blur, guys. He destroys four men before Mr. Sinister can continue to say what happened that fast. I don't want to show too many feats like this, but we already know he can dodge gunfire based on Marvel lore consistently. Blocks a whole bunch of arrows here, for example. Blocks Cyclops' optic beams mid-flight, a freaking laser, basically. Then dodges them after blocking them with the sword. He can use swords, too. He's fast enough to intercept this gun after it was fired. He's dodged attacks from Spider-Man more than once. You see like Spider-Man punching, punching that chimney off. <laughs> he confronted X-23 this one time. He even stated that he's faster than her. But even though he's fast enough to keep up with Spider-People, like they stated, he states I'm faster. In this occasion stated I'm faster here as well when it comes to comparing him to Spider-People. He even states no, nobody's faster. No, he wasn't saying he's implied faster. It's frequently dodged projectiles in all different manners, lasers, blocking, blocking with the claws, different occasions, deflecting stuff that's shot at him. You see what I mean? Lasers. You know, it's just too it's just too much evidence of this. One of the main things that makes Wolverine hard to rank is not his strength, but it's simply his. It's a mixture of a few things. Durability thanks to his adamantium skeleton, plus his insane regenerative healing factor, plus his adamantium claws that allows him to harm beings way out of his tier, durability-wise and physically and stuff like that, right? He's consistently taking blows like Wonder Man. You see what I mean? He's up. He took an attack from, he even took an attack from Sasquatch, another Gamma being in the Gamma family. This is all thanks to his adamantium mixed with his regenerative healing factor because if it wasn't for his adamantium, he would get splatted. Like in these occasions with Hulk, for example. Like, yeah, Wonder Man here, Scar, Hulk's son here. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for all this stuff, he wouldn't be eating blows from these top tiers this often. So yeah, his durability is pretty freaking off the charts. Like Joe Fix It, you know, you get the idea. Namor. Just a billion occasions of that stuff. Getting tossed by the thing. A super scroll. Maestro Hulk. Or Red She-Hulk. Is she biting him? <laughs> oh my goodness. During attacks from or battle feeds with Rhino. Doc Samson, another Gamma member. I mean, he had his heart torn out. And he was back up and running later on. Proving that he can literally regrow full organs. 
He survived all of this by Venom, but he's back on his feet thanks to Regenerative Healing Factor. Thanks to his Healing Factor, you might as well call him Bulletproof, even if they pierce his skin. He heals so fast, it's almost like a nine factor. The guy can even survive a nuclear bomb over Hiroshima because of healing factor and durability. His heart got detonated, but yet he's back on his feet. You can't have a lot of willpower like characters like Wolverine and not have psychic durability resistance. He's just mentally tough. It would be cheap. If you could just mind control everybody that's got strong minds, because then there wouldn't be no counter. But Wolverine obviously has a counter to mental beatdowns. That's evident when his occasions or fights or battle feats with Psylocke, for example. I mean, he recovered from supernatural stuff like vampirism, like being bit or being turned into a lichen in this occasion. Don't get me wrong. He can get turned into a lichen or a vampire. But he can just recover from it a lot faster. Like, isn't this a scary sight? You know what I mean? They even mentioned what the healing factor, you know. Like, they literally tested it. See what happens when you inject him with it? He transforms, and then within a minute, his body metabolized the compound, and he's reverted to a normal, normal for him. <laughs> Whatever normal is to him, right? He resisted Emma Frost's mental command this one time. Can you respect it? Believe it or not, Wolverine's not super cocky when it comes to certain stuff. Like, he knows there's certain things that can kill him. It just takes an extremely high degree. He's extremely hard to kill, but it's definitely possible. Like he said, if he takes away his healing factor, he would get metal poisoning. Ain't no coming back from that, right? Sword the Murasama that nullifies healing factors, taking his head off. If you can actually get his head off, he states that big giant purple robots, they can kill him. Energy and tech, you wouldn't believe it can burn you right down to the bone. Then it burns the bone. Ain't no coming back from that. He even states, shoot me into the sun. Magneto almost did it. He could feel my flesh boiling off. No way to survive that. Reality benders, they can turn me inside out and smear me across the landscape. The blink of an eye. Or some idiot can go back in time and make sure I never existed. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of different ways to get rid of him. He even stayed, get a big magnet or something, stick me to the bottom of the ocean and keep me there. Eventually, he'll die, he says. Crazy, right? His claws and pierce super durable people like even Thanos. The Incredible Hulk, consistently. This is the type of stuff where I said his claws help him to ignore durability to help him be able to harm beings that are durable or more durable as Black Hole. Even Water War Hulk being cut. Even Thor's been cut. The Thing's been cut. All these beings are physically out of his league, durability wise and etc. Even the thing here. Same with Colossus. He can pierce him, as you can see, like that. Iron Man armor. Plenty of cases of Iron Man armor. Thor. Hulk. Namor. People, Ghost Rider, Thor, when he was King Thor, crazy. Somehow these chains were able to bind Hercules. Wolverine can cut through these said chains that were holding Hercules. Characters like Black Knight's sword can stalemate his though. Respect it, right? Or magical blades of that sort. Captain America's shield can withstand it. Stuff like that, super metals. There are metals that can stalemate his adamantium in Marvel. Omnium Steel in the past has made Hulk and Hercules kind of struggle in the past to get out of them. Even powerhouses like Ghost Rider have issues. But Wolverine can slice through this same metal. Ridiculous, right? Keep note that he still can open them up, though. It's not like the powerhouses couldn't get out of it at all, though, right? Wolverine can't fight. He can only hack and slash. Well, that's a lie. I literally showed this already, but I'm going to show it again and remind you. CIA operative, a samurai, a spy, all that good stuff. He's trained other X-Men. If he was trash, why would he train other X-Men characters? Doesn't make sense. Even more statements of his lore. He even states here. He is remarkable hand-to-hand -hand combatant in almost every fighting style imaginable. Not done with the lore. They state he's an exceptional hand-to-hand -hand combatant, having mastered virtually every fighting style on Earth, which is why his fighting is a 7. More lore. His unique combination of brute strength and training. Wolverine is the perfect fighting machine classified information keto kung fu all the different fighting styles here it's even stated on panel when it comes to fighting i've had plenty of different teachers over the year from some of the most honorable samurai to ever pick up a sword to the most vicious who's ever grown claws and fangs the greatest fighters of the distant past and the far-flung future men and mutants animals and aliens and even a god or two i've learned from them all even states here that he's been taught kung fu secrets of shaolin dog fist he stated here he studied how to kill pretty much everything he states i've learned from the best my instincts are honed and tempered by the knowledge he states here he could kill her a hundred different ways she never know what hit her don't want to sound like an echo chamber extensive combat training received he states there are a hundred ways he could take this sucker down so in his versatility he even states here i've trained him in the finer points of 18 different styles of kung fu definitely some military training martial arts in there along with his enhanced senses he's trained storm as well in fighting paralysis or at least sparred with her on occasion kitty pride can fight because of what wolverine taught her showing he has knowledge he's even been Sparta and trained 
with a young or black widow seeing wolverine in stances using sword he just has too much combat at least their fighting style is pretty down to earth fighting mobs and using skills here other x-men taught multiple people swordsmanship his name was logan even implied that he could possibly beat nightcrawler in a sword duel with his raw skills she stated here he says he would have eaten you alive by now six hours a day training room sessions with the danger room as working as a group in tandem with one another stuff like that he's got pressure point training being able to strike the weaknesses of objects or or people or stuff like that let's see what happens when i hit some critical neural pressure points i can hit the nerve clusters around the big guy's wrist assuming he's got nerve clusters pressure points work every time a nerve pinch stopped her or ko'd her nerve cluster impact points more occasions of him using his skills in action his reputation precedes him a warrior of such renowned name even thor says it to him he's a hercules hulk tier being narration states he was a born fighter one of the deadliest men on earth but wolverine is one of the most dangerous men on the planet i mean look what he does the tanks for pete's sake look at the writer intent his power level is a nine why is this important well, let's compare other beings to his power level they have peter parker's power level an eight and they have luke cage's power level of an eight Captain America's power level of 8, Daredevil's power level of a 7, so I mean, of course this stuff isn't viable to be taken too seriously, but the reason why he's higher is probably because of his adamantium claws. The fact that he can seriously wound super top tiers, refreshing his swordsmanship skills with Silver Samurai, in 5 days he can defeat him in multiple ways, cause he's just that quick at learning on top of his other skills he already knows. Has better pure martial arts than Yukio, so Wolverine actually kicking. His instincts, reflexes, training, experience all moving faster than I can think, which means while I'm doing it, I can think about other stuff. Cap even has some writer intent or respect for Wolverine, so this is writer intently made that he has skills as well. Even admits that Wolverine has great moves. Cap even goes as far, I must admit I've been up against a lot of opponents in my career. Some of them gave me a hard time. Some of them weren't so tough. Here are my assessments of the fighting skills of the foes I fought. Captain America is literally about to give you his tier list. And this high ranks, and he ranks like the super adapt toy Thanos them off the charts like they're too you know they're higher tier they're like ridiculous but then he has wolverine right under that he has him with cable deathlock those type of people captain america even considers him above characters like great gargoyle when it comes to raw skills obviously and barren blood captain america even goes into detail he says these guys were stronger than me but were not quite my equal at hand-to-hand -hand fighting thank goodness he considers this group of guys to have superhuman strength which wolverine was in they knew how to use it in its fullest advantage these opponents were the all-around toughest to beat wolverine i love that captain america is not a skilled tard either he even knows that there's some people that are too strong for him to be they don't even need hand-to-hand -hand combat skills <laughs> captain america even says this is his weight class so it's like he even admits that wolverine is physically stronger than him but you know i don't think it's like a ridiculously large gap you know but it's just kind of cool that cap said this about him he said this weight class this is a superb fighters in peak condition expert in unarmed combat he has punisher in this list captain america considers him a bigger threat than punisher which is pretty cool and even black panther i mean heck he even timed a strike from speed demon a speedster is type of being showing his combat fighting speed daredevil surprises him in a fighting speed he recovers but gets a hold of daredevil this is impressive because don't forget how fast daredevil is daredevil can react in in a microsecond which is one millionth of a second yet wolverine can have no problem reacting to beings with this type of fighting speed he even disarms and ko's bucky with a chokehold also has this thing known as berserker rage where he becomes like mindless hulkish Kind of like an adrenaline rush type of thing. It kind of allows him to push past his limits, depending on how you look at it, on different creatures or occasions. It's very scary to look at. He gets a stat boost. They explain it here by the speed. Made him do unstoppable moments like picking up folks like that. But it's no exact number on how much stronger he actually gets. I wouldn't say he necessarily jumps to the Hulk tier or some crazy stuff like that. He just gets a little bit stronger. You know what I mean? It does make him to the point where he seems to get a noticeable gap over Captain America. Overwhelming him in this particular occasion as it seems. He's fought Shang-Chi. This is not Berserker Rage though. In a skirmish, this is one of his noticeable battles. So, it's something worth putting in the vid. Being able to keep up with a guy like this takes some type of skill. Leagues, leagues stronger than Wolverine Joe Fixit is, but thanks to his claws, like I've said a billion times, he can hang in there thanks to the Hulk not being a character where he's more close-ranged combat based. Of course, a psionic being on the tier of Hulk would probably be able to just keep Wolverine far away to where he can't even stab him, right? But this is still impressive regardless. Extended fight that you gotta respect slugs it with venom impressive endured that showed all that earlier 
but I'm showing a little bit more chops reacting to his speed slicing and dicing showing that he isn't a slow poke in comparison but Venom can heal too so yeah <laughs> gotten a sparring match with Iron freaking Fist Wolverine vs Captain America in a sparring session showed a little bit of this earlier but I'm showing an extended version of said incident respect it using sword ouch yikes booyah Wolverine not even using his claws as you can see, even more claws, block, deflect, speed. Yeah, he actually can use swords. He straight on scraps with Black Panther. A very cool scuffle. Nothing super long, though. Characters like Iron Fist can, like, overwhelm him, though, if he decides to use the Iron Fist Punch because you already know the Iron Fist Punch can do. Like in my Iron Fist video, it can, like, literally blast away a city. So, yeah, Iron Fist can overpower him as well. He can regenerate from being pretty much incinerated cell by cell. Even all the way into a skeleton. Wolverine even so skilled with swordsmanship. He can beat several while blindfolded. For all those people that say he can't fight. Now when it comes to these two physically. Captain America and Wolverine. Who do I think has the advantage? Personally believe in the aspect of just pure physical. I gotta give it to Wolverine when it comes to just pure physicals. But it's not an astronomical gap. Like if I was to put a number on it. Wolverine would be like 100 or something. This is no exact science. And Captain America would be what? I don't know. Something like. A 94 or something like it's a gap it's evidence here on how captain america made like his own tier list wolverine was in the augmented highly skilled classified he says when it comes to unarmed combat these group of guys wolverine was included in this along with u.s agent deathlock and cable had superhuman strength and knew how to use it he actually considers himself quote unquote peak human even though we know he's not just peak human you know whatever like he considers even wolverine to be even higher than what marvel's version of what actual peak human is even though peak human and marvel is really superhuman but yeah that's a whole nother discussion wolverine's even higher than captain american strength at least by a somewhat decent gap but not like a vast gap to the point where he can just one shot punch captain america and he would get splattered or some crap you know what i mean it's like an 100 versus 95 94 96 ranking it's not that far behind now when it comes to being able to harm higher tier beings wolverine has the edge vastly thanks to his claw being able to pretty much ignore durability now when it comes to characters like spider-man i believe physically wolverine is below spider-man but a little bit above captain america if that makes sense spider-man can live hundreds and hundreds of tons so that makes sense yeah you know what i'm saying if you don't believe me watch my spider-man video and my 100 ton class debunk video if you still think 100 tons is a big deal wolverine isn't the only character in fiction that has weapons that allow him to hang with top tiers even though he physically isn't a top tier characters like Black Knight, Deathstroke, Red Hood, Black Panther, characters like that that are not physically in a Superman-ish tier can hang with them based on certain weapons like Deathstroke over the years had the God Slayer. Black Knight, Marvel character all the way to the left has the Ebony Blade. Red Hood has the All Blades, which are magical blades. Black Panther has, of course, Vibranium Claws, Vibranium Daggers, all kind of weaponry to harm top tiers, even a Hulk Buster suit for Black Panther, stuff like that. Wolverine falls into this category of characters that can harm black hole tier beings thanks to his stupid overpowered claws. They just don't even care about durability and says, I'm going to pierce you no matter what. Super Soldier or some would say peak humans in Marvel can lift tons and tons of weight. I mean, a lot more weight than you probably think. But for the most part, that's just about going to do it. You got to respect Wolverine, one of the best characters of all time. And Savage, Brute, got to respect him. Did you know he was this strong? You probably did. He's very popular. Did you know his claws can basically ignore durability? It don't matter who you is. You getting cut, buddy. I don't care if you're Thanos or Dark Side, you getting cut. But post your comments down below. Let me know what you all think. But if I were you, I would be a psionic being to fight against him. Don't not let Wolverine get up close to you. Or you can just simply be Magneto or something. The Wolverine.